I'm Laura Jackson and welcome to my closet confessions. I'm in a bit of a makeshift wardrobe here that my boyfriend built for me and I'm going to let you have a little snoop around. <laughs> The item that attracts the most attention has to be my silver trousers. Whenever I wear them, everybody kind of goes, wow, look at those silver trousers. And then when I tell them they're from H&M, they can't believe it. And then when I tell them I got them for $15.99 in the sale, they can't believe it even more. A total bargain, cost per wear, probably like 20p so far. My most special item of all time is the most special thing in the whole wide world. It's this Gucci suit. I mean, look at this. I don't even have to say anything, it's so beautiful. It's a racing green velvet vintage Gucci suit and I think it was when Tom Dixon was designing for Gucci. I bought it from a shop in Paris and this woman said to me, it's not going to fit you because um, the bottom is quite big, you need to have a, a big bottom, yes. And I tried it on and it fit me and she went, oh, okay, you big bottom. I was like, yes please and I love it and I'd quite like to buy it. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm sure I will do. It's one of those things that's just so special I don't want to wear. I kind of want to put it in a frame on the wall. Is that a bit weird? Well, I think you get it. My best value item has to be some Vivian Westwood shoes that I've had for about 10 years. Don't judge me because they look really disgusting. They absolutely stink and there's no way of washing them. So normally I just get a wet wipe and just kind of rinse the inside. And underneath um, is stamped by my toe so no one else could wear these because I've worn them in so much. The trick though is that I just get some black polish every time I want to wear them and buff them up a little bit and then they kind of look okay but I know one day I'm going to have to let go of these. I can smell them now they stink but I think the plan is just to buy a new pair but um, cost per wear, nothing probably. My most expensive item has to be a Celine jumper which is this one here. It's just so beautiful and so pretty. I've not washed it yet, um, and it's kind of one of those things that's so expensive that I don't actually wash it. But I will do, I think I'll probably just take it to the dry cleaners, but it's just so lovely. If you just put it on, it just feels amazing, like the fabric's really luxurious. It goes with everything, and it kind of, if you've got maybe some like high street trousers on and you put a really expensive jumper on, it kind of lifts it all up and makes it a little bit more fashiony, which is great. And the blue's really nice. I quite like that it's school colours as well. It reminds me of a school that near Huddersfield that had these colours. It's great, and I'm a really big fan of Celine. For the Tea Maria Music Room event, I wore um, a white skirt and top. It's a lace pencil skirt that I wore with a matching white top. I kind of tucked the top in like that. Quite a boxy fit. The um, skirt kind of sits on your hips and the top's quite baggy, but I quite like that. It's kind of quite boyish. Um, I like playing on that whole masculine, feminine kind of thing. And these are great as well because you could wear these as separate. So you could wear your white top with some jeans or a pencil skirt with a nice kind of big oversized jumper, which would be quite cool. I just went with some plain heels and a nice, Red bag. Bit of silly. My best vintage item is a YSL jacket, which is this one. And it's a, a velvet jacket. It's a little bit too big for me. I think it's um, from the 1990s. It's got quite big shoulder pads. You can imagine it in the 90s. So I need to get it taken in a little bit. But I absolutely love it. And I found it in a shop in Paris. And I tried it on. And I was just so in love with it, I had to take it home. The one item that I should probably throw away but I just can't is something that is quite disgusting but I kind of love it as well. It is this. <laughs> I've had it since I lived in Leeds, so probably about odd oh, eight years ago. And everyone always says to me, why have you got that? And I don't really know because I know I should throw it away but I love it so much. I've been to a few fancy dress parties and worn it. And whenever I'm having a barbecue at the house and I get a bit cold, I always put it on. Bit of an icebreaker as well. My best freebie of all time has to be a Jaeger suit, which is this one. I just absolutely love it so much and they lent it me for a party. The girl from the PR came up to me and she said to me, Laura, you look so amazing in it, do you want to keep it? And I was like, yes, please. And since I've had it, I've worn it so many times with lots of different things. With a white shirt underneath, it looks grey, or like a plain t-shirt. I think this is going to be my summer wedding suit as well. It's nice to go into something different to a wedding rather than a dress, so I thought ditch the cocktail dress and go for a suit. It's 
latest Christopher Kane scarf. I bought it in a sample sale for £100 and it was retailing at something ridiculous like £900, so I got a bargain. Um, it's double sided cashmere, it's really, really warm and it goes with everything. I just really love it. I once thought I'd lost it and I cried, which was really pathetic, so I would definitely save this first. And also, if I was running out from the fire in my pyjamas, it would totally keep me warm as well. My most recent purchase is a pair of shoes. They're a brand called Penelope Chilvers and they're kind of like velvet slippers. There seems to be a lot of velvet going on in my wardrobe actually, I've just noticed, but these are really beautiful. They're embossed with a gold palm tree and actually if you go online and you order some, you can design them yourself so you could have any kind of colour trim here, any sort of design embossed, which is really great. You could even get your name, which is quite exciting, but um, I've not worn them yet. I only bought them the other day. These, I'm really scared to wear them because you know when you've worn them in and they kind of, I've got wide feet so I'm sure that my feet are going to kind of pop out the side but these are going to be a nice summer item. Thank you so much for having a little snoop around my wardrobe with me. Let me know if you liked anything or hated anything in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Fashtag. It's quite heavy. No, 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 no. Can you get the dog rowling?